Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to measure to the nearest half inch and fourth inch. Now, fourths are also called quarters. So when hearing fourths or quarters, just know they mean the same thing. For this video, we have two sections. We will start by measuring to the nearest half inch. Once we have that down, we will build off of halves and include fourths. We will go through six examples in each section. Let's jump into measuring to the nearest half inch, starting with our first example, where we need to measure the length of the orange bar. Now here, we have a 12 inch ruler, so one foot, and each inch is marked along the ruler. We have the zero mark where we start our measurements, then one inch, two inches, three inches, up to 12 inches. Now notice we have the left end of the orange bar lined up with the zero mark on the ruler. That's where we want to start our measurements. That's our starting point. Now, depending on the ruler that you're using, there may be a small gap between the end of the ruler and zero. So it's important to line up whatever is being measured with zero and measure from there. We don't want the gap to be included in our measurements. So keep that in mind. So for number one, we're lined up with zero and our bar goes all the way over to 10 inches. So this orange bar lands right on a whole inch mark, right on 10 inches. So that's our measurement. For number one, the length of the orange bar is 10 inches. When we measure with a ruler, line up the left end of the object being measured with the zero mark on the ruler. And then take a look at the right end of the object and find the measurement it lines up with on the ruler. Let's move on to number two, where we need to measure the length of the blue bar. The left end of the bar is lined up with the zero mark. So let's see what our measurement is. Well, the right end of the bar falls right in between seven and eight inches. This measurement doesn't fall on a whole inch mark. So what do we do? Well, let's take a look at something. Now here we are zoomed in on the ruler and looking at zero to two inches. We have the zero mark, then one inch, and then two inches. Now let's talk about halves. In between each inch is a tick mark. So right here and right here. These represent half an inch. These marks cut each inch in half, so two equal parts. We can use these tick marks to help us measure lengths that fall in between the whole inches. We have the zero mark right here, and then the tick mark in between zero and one is one half. That's half an inch. So from zero to there, we don't quite have a full inch. Again, that's half an inch. Then we have one inch, and then after one inch, we have a tick mark in between one inch and two inches. That's one and a half inches. So we have one full inch and then a half. So again, one and a half inches. And then two inches. You'll notice that we're counting up by a half along the ruler. So next is two and a half inches, then three inches, then three and a half inches, so on and so forth. When we measure to the nearest half inch, a measurement can be to a whole inch mark or in between to a half inch mark. Now, depending on the ruler you're using, you may have more tick marks in between each inch than just the half inch marks. Those measure other fractions of an inch. For now, we're just focused on halves. So if there are multiple tick marks in between each inch, find the one right in the middle. And typically, it's going to be the longest tick mark in between the whole inches. So the half inch marks should stand out a little bit. With all that being said, let's go back to number two and include the half inch marks. For number two, we now have half inch tick marks in between each inch. And now we know what those represent. So for this blue bar, the measurement is right in between seven inches and eight inches. 
and is right on the half inch mark. So we have seven inches and then a half. Our measurement for number two is seven and a half inches. Let's try some more examples and move on to numbers three and four. Taking a look at number three, we need to measure the length of the red bar. Now the left end of the red bar is lined up with the zero mark of the ruler and goes to the half inch tick mark between 11 inches and 12 inches. So we have 11 inches and then a half. Our measurement for number three is 11 and a half inches. Moving on to number four, let's measure the length of the green bar. The left end of the bar is lined up with the zero mark and goes to the half inch mark in between two inches and three inches. So we have two inches and then that half. That gives us a measurement of two and a half inches. Let's try two more examples and move on to numbers five and six. Taking a look at number five, we need to measure the length of the blue bar. We are lined up with the zero mark on the ruler and it looks like our blue bar falls right on a whole inch mark, six inches. So our measurement is six inches. Lastly, let's move on to number six, where we need to measure the length of the yellow bar. We are lined up with the zero mark and our measurement is going to fall right in between eight inches and nine inches. So we have eight whole inches and then a half. That gives us a measurement of eight and a half inches. So there's our section I'm measuring to the nearest half inch. Let's build on this and now include fourths. So let's move on to our section I'm measuring to the nearest fourth. Here's our section I'm measuring to the nearest fourth inch. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we need to measure the length of the blue bar. And for this example, we have a quick review here to see if you have measuring to the nearest half inch down. So what do you think the length of the blue bar is? And we will see if you are correct. Well, we have the left end of the bar lined up with the zero mark on the ruler. Then the right end of the bar is in between three inches and four inches and lines up with the half inch mark. So we have three inches and then half an inch. So our measurement is three and a half inches. Let's move on to number two, where we need to measure the length of the green bar. The left end is lined up with the zero mark and then the right end lines up in between six inches and seven inches. But here, the bar does not line up with the half inch mark. It's actually past the half inch mark and in between six and a half inches and seven inches. This measurement doesn't fall on a whole inch mark or a half inch mark. So what do we do in order to get an accurate measurement here? Well, let's take a look at something. Now here we are zoomed in on the ruler and looking at zero to two inches. We're going to take a look at fourths, also called quarters. Fourths and quarters mean the same thing and you'll hear both. So something to keep in mind. Let's start with the whole inches and go from there. We have the zero mark, one inch and two inches. Now in between each inch, we have three tick marks. These marks cut each inch into fourths or quarters, so four equal sections. Taking a look in between zero and one, we have one section, two sections, three sections, and four sections. So fourths here. So let's take a look at what these tick marks mean. So we start with the zero mark, and then the first tick mark in between zero and one, that's the one fourth of an inch mark or one quarter of an inch. So from zero to that tick mark, that's one fourth of an inch. Then the next tick mark, so the one in the middle, that's the two fourths of an inch mark or two quarters of an inch. So from zero to that tick mark, that's two fourths 
of an inch. Now you may be thinking, isn't that the half inch mark? Yes, that is the half inch mark. Two fourths is a half. They are equivalent fractions. Two fourths equals one half. One half is the simplified version of two fourths. So either of these are correct because again, they are equivalent fractions. But we will use the simplified fraction one half for our measurements in this video. So this is the half inch mark. Next, we have the third tick mark in between zero and one, and this is the three fourths of an inch mark, also called three quarters of an inch. So from the zero mark to that tick mark is three fourths of an inch. After three fourths, we have four fourths, which is one whole, and that's our one inch mark. Four fourths equals one hole. And again, that's our one inch mark. Now looking in between one inch and two inches, we have the one fourth mark, the one half mark, and the three fourths mark. Keep in mind, we have one whole inch and then those fractions of an inch. This is our one fourth of an inch mark, but we have that one whole inch and then a fourth of an inch. So this is one, and one fourth inches or one and a quarter inches. Next is the two fourths of an inch mark, which again is one half of an inch. So we have that whole inch and then a half of an inch. So we have one and a half inches. Next we have the three fourths of an inch mark. So we have one whole inch and three fourths of an inch, so one and three fourths inches, or one and three quarters inches. Next, we have the whole inch mark, so two inches. And if we think about this in terms of counting up by a fourth, we have one and one fourth, one and one half, one and three fourths, and then one and four fourths, which is just two. So one whole inch and then four fourths, which is a whole. So that gives us two. And that pattern continues on. Basically, our ruler is counting up by one fourth of an inch. Next is two and one fourth inches, then two and a half inches, then two and three fourths inches, then three inches, so on and so forth. So when we measure to the nearest fourth of an inch, we are looking for the nearest whole inch tick mark, a fourth of an inch tick mark, a half inch tick mark, or a three fourths of an inch tick mark. With all that being said, let's go back to number two and include fourths. For number two, we now have fourths included in between each inch. And now we know what those tick marks represent. So for this green bar, the measurement is in between six inches and seven inches and lines up with this mark right here. So we have six whole inches, then one fourth of an inch, two fourths of an inch, which is one half, and then three fourths of an inch. So we have six whole inches and then three fourths of an inch. That gives us a measurement of six and three fourths inches or six and three quarters inches. Let's try some more examples and move on to numbers three and four. Taking a look at number three, let's measure the length of the purple bar. The left end is lined up with the zero mark on the ruler, and then the right end of the bar is in between one inch and two inches, and lines up with this tick mark right here, which is the one fourth of an inch tick mark. So we have one whole inch and then one fourth of an inch. That gives us a measurement of one and one fourth inches, or one and a quarter inches. Let's move on to number four and measure the length of the red bar. The left end is lined up with the zero mark and then the right end of the bar is in between nine inches and 10 inches and lines up with this tick mark right here. So we have nine whole inches, then one fourth of an inch and two fourths of an inch, which is one half. So we have 
nine whole inches and then a half of an inch. That gives us a measurement of nine and a half inches. Lastly, let's move on to numbers five and six. Taking a look at number five, let's measure the length of the green bar. The left end is lined up with the zero mark, and then the right end is in between 10 inches and 11 inches, and lines up with this tick mark right here. So we have 10 whole inches, then one fourth of an inch, two fourths of an inch, which is one half, and then three fourths of an inch. So 10 whole inches and then three fourths of an inch. That gives us a measurement of 10 and three fourths inches, or 10 and three quarters inches. Moving on to number six, let's measure the length of the yellow bar. The left end is lined up with the zero mark, then the right end of the bar is in between seven inches and eight inches, and lines up with this tick mark right here. So we have seven whole inches and then one fourth of an inch. That gives us a measurement of seven and one fourth inches, or seven and a quarter inches. So there you have it. There's how to measure to the nearest half inch and fourth inch. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.